Okay, so I'm going to start with a bit of an overview. Um, so I, 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 if you've been following the blog and following this vlog, um, or whatever you want to call it, um, you'll notice that I've recently kind of delved into antinatalism. And um, I don't think that it is something completely disconnected from atheism. Um, although if you listen to some clips of David Benatar talk about religious arguments against antinatalism, he's a bit dismissive. And I agree with him in, in that dismissiveness. Like I, I feel that um, that religious arguments for antinatalism don't even come close to to taking down the, the, the core philosophy of antinatalism. Um, the, the religious arguments are just, just really, I'm not saying unrelated, um, they're, they're just not in the same following as the, the, the thought pattern when it comes to antinatalism. Uh, they, they, they refer to things that have no, have no real uh, logical grounding. And uh, I think right away that kind of, kind of throws the religious argument out the window. Um, but it's, it's, it's important to address. I mean, um, it is important to address the, 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 the notion or the belief that uh, religion does uh, advocate for the, and not all religions and not all sects and everything like that, but religions do ad advocate for the, the, the sanctity of life, as I've mentioned in videos before. It, religion advocates for the, the, the preciousness and the, and the, the, the spiritualism of, and, and the God-given right of life, um, which is, is not which which is which does not hold any sort of um, logical or philosophical weight when it comes to uh, what antinatalism suggests on a, on a logical or philosophical level. Um, interestingly enough, and I, I don't do polls, like I, I don't poll people. I don't ha I don't have statistics on this, um, and I am talking about my personal life or my personal experience. But it's interesting. Um, and I, I am very aware of, of how these things inter, in, interrelate. Um, I am very aware of the fact that, um, you know, personal experience is never really evidence of anything. Um, it, it needs to be repeatable. It needs to be, you know, um, evidence is evidence only if, it, if, if you can recreate the, the, the scenarios and with which, within which the results are become the same. Um, but let's just call it intuition and you know forgive me but let's call intuition a scientific reality when it comes to human beings but my intuition is that more people are offended by atheism than they are by antinatalism and that i find is a very strange maybe not even strange it's so strange it's it's actually maybe almost uh, predictable but it is strange that people find more fault and more offense in atheism uh, with atheism as opposed to antinatalism. I mean, go figure, right? Like, I mean, anyway, so that's another kind of weird relationship between those two things that uh, that I find just maybe just interesting. Um, but, but but that last, that, that, that the latter is basically intuition. Um, uh, yeah, it, it's strange that people just find the extinction of the human race less offensive than the extinction of, of religious ideas. Um, so anyway, uh, I, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about, because I, I, on the atheism bent, I've found this kind of new direction when it comes to religious symbols. And I know in Quebec uh, with Legault and, and um, his, uh, uh, his CAQ party, um, am I saying that right? I, I don't, I, I can't remember right now, but, but Legault in the, the, you know, the, the, the um, oh shit. Um, anyway, look it up. The, the, the party in power in Quebec, um, provincially, right now, um, they they had this whole thing about religious symbols and blah, blah, blah. Um, but interestingly enough, the mayor of, of city council in Montreal decided that they would, um, and I think city council in general, decided that they would take down the crucifix hanging in uh, council chambers in Montreal. Um, that story kind of hit me and it kind of made me get kind of more in line with with secularism um and yes there are minor details that 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 are different in secularism than there are in atheism although i would imagine most atheism most atheists are secularist um um so there was this line that the mayor of montreal basically um said 
And I have to read it to you because it, 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 it's what really made me click in terms of religious symbols within governments. Um, but she said, uh, hold on, hold on. So she said, we're in a place and time when, where it is important to remember that our institutions are secular. Uh, she said, adding that the religious neutrality of democratic institutions was absolutely crucial. And yes, I do believe when you interact with governmental uh, agencies and when you in interact with government on any level, you should be having a secular experience. Um, now, as a, on another personal note, if I went to any sort of government agency and I tried to interact with a government worker and they were wearing a crucifix or they were wearing um, a hijab or anything like that, I wouldn't think twice of it. Like I just, I wouldn't, I, I, I'm a very, I'm a very, you know, and maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe this is a bit of boasting, but I, I'm, a, I'm a very calculated person when it comes to human interaction. Like I, I, I don't, I don't, um, I don't blow things out of proportion when it comes to how people look and how they behave and like what they're wearing and things like that. Like, I mean, unless it's something just completely out of bounds, then yeah, I'll notice a difference with, with somebody who's maybe, I don't know, who's maybe wearing a bunch of tattoos, a swastika on their forehead or, or a bunch of tattoos all over their cheeks or whatever. I mean, I would, I would, I would obviously notice that, but e even at that point, and even at that point, I would still not really factor that in when it comes to their belief systems. I would, I would basically look at the service they're offering, how that service was delivered and whether, whether or not I was satisfied with the service. Um, and I do believe when it comes to government, there are processes and things that just have to happen very mechanically um, in, in those interactions and anything out of those bounds, anything outside of, of, of how the process is supposed to work um, shouldn't really shouldn't really affect anything. And um, but that's me. But what I'm saying is like there are people in society and I think we can all agree who are religious, who are deeply religious and who who will notice things like somebody wearing a crucifix or somebody wearing a kippah or somebody wearing a hijab or a burqa, et cetera, et cetera. And, and the burqa is a whole different story. I mean, to begin with, once you start covering your face, like I don't I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's even uh, that should not be allowed anywhere. Um, now, in, in, in a civilian context, I think you should be able to wear whatever the fuck you want. Like, you should, it, it, like, you know, wear whatever the fuck you want. Uh, and in a civilian context as well, or in a social context, I'm saying as much as you're wearing whatever, whatever you want, you should also be very aware of where that symbology is coming from, where those where those adornments come from and where where you're where you're pulling that history from. I you know, sometimes I feel that people think somebody wearing a hijab is just wearing clothes. But I mean, say that to a hijabi. Um, I don't think a hijabi would actually say, oh, I'm just wearing clothes. Like, I, I, I don't think they would say that. Um, but I, I feel like that explanation is very convenient at times. Like, people tend to use it back and forth. Oh, well, sometimes it's just clothes. And then sometimes it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really weighted kind of well-thought-out religious um, symbol. Um, and, and, you know, so, I mean, it, it, there's a, there's a back and forth there, but, you know, uh, 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 getting away from that little bit of conflation or confusion or whatever it is in government, when you interact with government, you want, and, and maybe not for people like me, but for others who are very religious, when you interact with government and government employees, it should be a very secular experience. It should be removed from all religious influence, all religious influence, and and, and it should have, um, and, and even the even the, the even the the symbology uh, associated with with crucifixes and hijabs and, and anything like that should be removed. Um, now, I I in the beginning I was I thought you know maybe you know maybe the maybe they could maybe they could maybe they could leave the crucifix up as long as people contextualize things and they understand where this is coming from blah blah blah. But no. Once things start getting messy and and and, and uh, awry when it comes to understanding what these symbols mean, et cetera, et cetera, it should all come down, all of it. And and you know what? Um, I think Legault, I forget his, I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name, but I mean Legault in in, in Quebec. Like I think, um, I I think that I think he made the right decision, or or is considering the right decision in terms of removing the crucifix from the Quebec National Assembly. 
I think uh, I think that it should all come down. Well, I, and and almost on the on the I'm almost I'm and I, I have always always been leaning on the side of taking everything down and recontextualizing them in museums or through uh, or plaques or, or explanations where it's plainly in view that this is not what government is. Government is very secular. Um, everybody that lives in Canada should know that government is very secular and that, that should be a no, a no questions asked kind of thing. So if it comes to religious symbols and, and things get kind of blurry and confusing, take it all down, take it all down, take it all down. I, I don't care anymore. Um, so in that, um, in, in, uh, on that issue. And, um, I, I think, uh, I think Quebec is moving in the right direction. Um, when it comes to government anyway, like, like I said, when it comes to civilian and social kind of, uh, contexts, I think that, um, I think you could wear whatever you want, but don't expect that people are going to only see the, the good side of everything that you do or the things that you're wearing. Um, and you know, fashion, um, so I, I think that's what I, I think that's the end of that video. Um, I might have to redo it, but I'm not sure that I will. Uh, I think the beginning was kind of slow, but, uh, uh we'll see. So we, yeah, bye.